Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. So today, um, my cat also wishes you a happy Tuesday. <laughs> um, so today I decided to share with you one of the other things that I do with my art and that is pet portraits for commission. So give you a little sneaky peek into my process with that. I already did the gestures and pencil and um, I got a little bit of the inking done, just the eyes and the side of the face here. Uh, it's one of those times where I went ahead and started inking different features a little early. Um, sometimes it helps me get things right if I just jump right in with the inking. So that's what I did with the eyes and the little bit of the face. To ink this, I'm using the Molotow Black Liner inking pens in the... Um, thinnest fine line that I have which is the .05 and the reason that I do that is because I don't want really um, hard lines I suppose like I don't want let's go with bold I don't want there to be really bold lines on the pets because of the fur and it's I don't want it to look really cartoony so that's why I like to do those and not press too hard and as you can see I'm using my right hand instead of my left because even though I've gotten much more comfortable with my left hand um, I am not I don't feel that I'm quite up to where um, uh, I don't want to say good enough uh, let's go with proficient enough with my left hand to give people um, quite what they're used to with the commission with the pet portraits that are commissioned so I'm gonna hold off on doing the inking and sketching of pets for commission with my left hand for a little bit longer although a commission that I just finished of a dog named Major, I did start coloring left-handed before I even realized what I was doing. So I ran with that for a little bit, but the the inking and then the blending of the colors was all done right-handed. I just felt more sure of myself when doing work for a client like that. So these little lines, and there are little breaks. You'll see me pick up my um, my pen uh, in between instead of just going like straight down and that's how I avoid those really bold cartoony lines that I just said that I don't want to do and of course it'll be much more detailed once I um, once I get the colors in and I'll be using Prisma colored mar uh, pencils and Faber-Castell pencils for that and this cat's name is Peaches Peaches is a little orange tiger cat unfortunately she passed away so I was um, commissioned to do a portrait in memoriam for her um, of her for her mom and this size is 5 by 7 I'm using a tan toned Strathmore drawing paper and then I'll just I measure the 5 by 7 out uh, size out and then after it's colored I will use my exacto knife to cut the picture down to its proper size. I don't cut it down ahead of time because sometimes when I'm sketching them I end up needing more space so that way I haven't you know used up an entire piece of paper by cutting it too early and also when I start coloring it it allows me to go over the um, I'm going off camera here. It allows me to go over the the margins so that when I do cut it out there's no um, gap between that and the 
in the edges of the paper. Now in the photo that I was given to work from, the paw in the foreground actually is um, cropped out. So I didn't um, just go, hey, I don't feel like drawing two legs. It was, <laughs> it was cropped out. To get it to uh, fit on the 5x7 paper and still get the details of her face done properly, I did shorten it a little bit. Her leg probably would have come out about a little more, maybe about there. But I liked the, the sketch and decided to go with it this way. And this I don't want to darken in too much like I would if I were inking um, my illustrations and my figures because I'm going to be putting colored pencil over that. It's the, um, you know, cats, depending on how they move, their fur will kind of separate a little bit. And you'll see, like, down to their other layers. That's, that's what's going on in this bit of her leg. She's a very fluffy kitty. So... I just have it on there so that I, for me, and to add the detail, but I don't want to give it, go too crazy with it, and then not be able to blend it in when I start coloring her. Same with these, just little quick, um, little very quick short lines to the on the paper. Little, very quick, short little lines. That was, boy, if that had been written down, that would be edited out <laughs> of a story. <laughs> okay. And there she is. And take what's left of this eraser. Get rid of those pencil lines and she'll be ready to color. I'll need to put the background in, of course. I wonder if I'm shaking the camera. I may be shaking the camera. It's Sorry about that. I did not think about that. It's kind of like anyone that sits next to me. I bounce my leg a lot up and down when I'm sitting. <laughs> Anybody that's sitting next to me. <laughs> like they're in the middle of an earthquake or something. Oh no. Right now I'm using my hand to brush off the erasers, but when I use my colored pencils, and sometimes you get like the dust from the different colors and then you'll go to brush them away and you have like a rainbow smear on your drawing. So for that I would, if I were using the colored pencils right now, and when I do use the colored pencils I just take a brush to sweep that stuff away, but I don't like to do it with my eraser because then the eraser bits get stuck in the brush and I seem to have difficulty getting them out. And then they get mixed in in my paints. And that's just a big thing. <laughs> okay. And that's that. So I'm going to get to work on sketching in the background, adding colors to her, and I will show you how she turns out in another video. The goal is to finish her this week so that I can get this portrait and the portrait of Major mailed out hopefully Friday. So we'll see and I'll share more progress on Peaches in another upcoming video from this week, okay? I hope that you're having a great week. As always, thank you so much for choosing to spend your time watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, any critiques, comments, questions, type them below. Send them to me. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see and you find that anyone else that you know might find these videos interesting, please share the links on your social media. Uh, again, Take care, have a great day, enjoy your week. I will be back here tomorrow. And um, see you then, okay? Bye.